One of the most credible sources for DJI leaks is Jasper Ellens, a well-known name in the drone community, along with other reputable leakers like Quadro News. These sources have provided glimpses of what might be in store for the DJI Air 4. Leaked prototype images to insider reports, we've seen hints of its design and features. While nothing is confirmed until DJI makes an official announcement, past leaks have often proven accurate, giving us a fair idea of what to expect. The DJI Air series has long been a favorite among drone enthusiasts, striking a balance between portability, performance, and price. Now, with increasing leaks and rumors surrounding the upcoming DJI Air 4, many are wondering what kind of upgrades it will bring. Will it be a revolutionary leap forward or just an incremental update? Today, we'll dive into everything we know so far, analyzing potential improvements, concerns, and whether this drone will be worth the wait. When it comes to leaks, they often originate from industry insiders, beta testers, or even accidental product listings. From the leaked images, it appears that DJI is sticking to the Air Series' signature compact and foldable design. This is unsurprising since portability has always been a major selling point for the series. However, some notable refinements have been observed. The body looks sleeker and possibly more aerodynamic, which could improve flight efficiency and handling in windy conditions. Additionally, Rumors suggest that the Air 4 features enhanced stability, especially for those flying in challenging environments. One concern is whether these design refinements will add weight, potentially impacting portability. However, DJI has always been mindful of keeping the Air series travel friendly, so any weight increase is likely to be minimal. Another interesting rumor suggests that the Air 4 might share some design elements with the Mavic 4, hinting at a more polished and professional look. Could this mean that it will come closer to Mavic level performance? That remains to be seen. There's also talk of a variable aperture, which would allow for greater control over exposure and different lighting conditions. If included, this feature would enable users to create more cinematic shots, particularly during sunrise and sunset, when lighting can be tricky. Another rumored addition is a mechanical shutter, which would help eliminate rolling shutter distortion, a common issue when capturing fast-moving subjects. This feature is typically found in high-end drones, so seeing it in the Air series would be a major upgrade. However, these camera enhancements come at a cost. Advanced features typically drive up the price. And if DJI implements significant imaging improvements, the Air 4 could inch closer to the price range of higher-end models like the Mavic series. This raises an important question. Will potential buyers find these upgrades compelling enough to justify the increased cost? Or will the Air 3 remain a viable alternative? Features like Active Track and Return to Home are likely to be even more refined, making the drone more intuitive and reliable. Additionally, improvements in transmission range and signal stability are anticipated. DJI's OcuSync technology has evolved with each generation, and a stronger, more reliable connection could be on the horizon. However, a concern is whether these enhancements will require more processing power, potentially affecting battery efficiency. Battery life is another crucial factor. The Air 3 already impressed with its 46-minute flight time, allowing pilots plenty of flexibility for capturing footage without feeling rushed. Leaks indicate that the Air 4 might push flight time even further, possibly up to 50 minutes. This would be a game-changer for aerial photographers and videographers who rely on longer flights to capture the perfect shot. As for the launch timeline, if DJI follows its typical two-year release cycle, a late 2025 launch seems likely. Leaks suggest that the drone is well into development, aligning with this expected timeline. Pricing is another major consideration. The Air 3 launched at $1,099, positioning it as a solid mid-range option. If DJI packs the Air 4 with bigger sensors, advanced LiDAR-based obstacle avoidance, and longer battery life, we could see a price increase to around $1,200 or more. This would push the Air Series into higher-end territory, making buyers question whether to stick with the Air lineup or invest in a Mavic instead. Until DJI officially unveils the Air 4, we can only speculate. For current Air 3 users, the decision to upgrade will depend on whether the new features justify the added cost. For newcomers, it may come down to whether the Air 4 remains a mid-range powerhouse or starts creeping into premium territory. The Mini 5 Pro is back on track. Early leaks had us worried with those awkward cage-like propeller guards, 
that made the drone look bulky and clumsy. But a fresh video from Maro Tendoy on X finally clears things up. The clip shows a mountain biker with the Mini 5 Pro on the ground. No massive guards, just sleek folding props and robust vented motors that hint at better cooling and performance. It's the design we were all hoping for. And here's the best part. Jasper Ellens via Drone XL has confirmed the launch date, August 7, 2025. That's just weeks away, and it's landing a month earlier than anyone expected. Let the countdown begin. Other highlights include a potentially larger 1-inch sensor for better low-light performance. Could the DJI Mini 5 Pro really offer nearly one hour of flight time on a single battery? A newly leaked FCC certification label says yes. And it's not just a small upgrade, it's a massive leap forward. According to the label submitted by DJI, the new drone will feature a 4,680 mAh battery rated at 33.5 Watt hour, a major jump over what we saw in the Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro. Both of those drones already impressed with extended battery options, but this takes things to a whole new level. The leak came via an image posted on social platform X, and it shows an official DJI drone label something typically submitted for regulatory certification. It includes key specs like model ID, regulatory approval numbers, and most importantly, battery details. Since it's tied to the FCC, Federal Communications Commission in the US, this isn't a random guess. It's official paperwork that validates the existence of the drone and its powerful battery. And here's the kicker. With this kind of battery capacity, 50 to 55 minutes of flight time now seems realistic, possibly even with fast charging included. DJI might be getting ready to redefine what we expect from an ultralight drone. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is officially on the radar. Leaked images, field testing footage, and inside info from trusted sources confirm it. DJI is breaking new ground with the first ever fifth generation drone in their lineup surpassing even the legendary Phantom series. Let's kick things off with the biggest highlight, the camera. The Mini 5 Pro is expected to feature a one-inch image sensor, a massive upgrade that brings high-end performance to a sub-250 gram drone. This sensor promises superior low-light performance, better dynamic range, and overall sharper, cleaner images. The camera module is also larger and more exposed, missing the typical side flaps that protected previous mini gimbals. Why? Likely to allow for full 360-degree rotation, similar to what we saw on the Mavic 4 and the Osmo Pocket. This opens up new possibilities for cinematic motion and creative shot angles. The gimbal design seems to be more advanced and less restricted. Expect smoother, more versatile camera movement. On the sensor front, DJI is stepping up the game. The Mini 5 Pro introduces a front-facing LiDAR sensor, part of DJI's 3D infrared sensing system, previously seen in the Mavic 4 and Air 3s. It's expected to detect obstacles up to 25 meters away with a 60-degree field of view, and it's been optimized for low-light environments too. You'll also notice larger sensor bulges on the chassis, these were likely expanded to fit the new LiDAR system without compromising the gimbal's movement range. Under the hood, the Mini 5 Pro is bringing some serious power. We're talking about more powerful motors complete with ventilation openings, a first for the Mini line. This could mean better performance in wind and higher payload capacity. DJI is also finally introducing quick-release propellers, no more tiny screws. And yes, it's still lightweight and foldable, staying true to the Mini series portable DNA. As for storage, 32GB of built-in internal memory is expected, great for backup when you forget your micro SD card. Battery life is getting a noticeable boost too. The standard battery is rumored to offer up to 45 minutes of flight time, and if DJI releases a plus battery we could be looking at over 50 minutes in the air. That's a major leap from the Mini 4 Pro's 34-minute base time. The Mini 5 Pro will use the O4 transmission system, giving it a range of up to 20 kilometers. That's the same as the Air 3S and Mini 4 Pro, still among the best in the industry. It's also expected to be compatible with the RC2 controller, RCN3, motion controller and DJI Goggles 3 or N3 for FPV lovers. 
However, rumors suggest the RC track has been cancelled, at least for now. DJI may also add some futuristic touches like voice command control, similar to what we've seen in the DJI Neo, and in-app audio recording, perfect for vloggers and content creators. There's also talk of a dedicated flight mode button so you can trigger pre-programmed shots even without a remote controller. Now for the big questions. When is it coming and how much will it cost? The DJI Mini 5 Pro is expected to launch in September 2025. That aligns with field testing footage and inside info from drone leakers like Jasper Ellens and Hakasushi. As for pricing, the base version with RCN2 controller and one battery is expected to start at around $850. The Fly More combo, which includes the RC2 controller with a built-in screen, could reach up to $1,200. That positions it nicely between the Mini 4 Pro $759, and the Air 3S $1,099. So, if DJI really nails the 360-degree gimbal and 1-inch sensor on a sub-250 grams drone, what kind of shots would you try first? Is the Mini 5 Pro shaping up to be the best sub-250 grams drone yet? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more DJI updates as we get closer to launch.